Good morning, folks. We are currently en route to Germany for a second visit, or as Jake and I like to call it, land of the pretzel. This time around, we're checking out the country's south. Not too long to go now. And actually, the mention of those pretzels has got me feeling a little peckish. Jake. Jake. Yeah, mate. Could you bring us a snack or two? Yeah, just give us a sec. I'm uh, just trying to finalize episode six. Come on, you know we're behind schedule. I know we're behind schedule, man. That's why I got my foot on the pedal. When you're ready. No worries, mate. So we're hoping to reach Black Forest in a couple of hours time, which is just southwest of Stuttgart. Hopefully find ourselves a local pub too, because we are dying for a couple of German brews. Jake. How you going back there, mate? I'm very peckish. Sorry, man, the snacks won't be long. I've only just finished. <laughs> Some co-pilot you are, mate. In case you're wondering, we have landed and I found us that pub. So get your knickers on. Happily, I've been craving a beer all day. Got a great feeling about this one, mate. Ooh. Looks like it used to be an old barber shop or something. Really? Yeah. That's strange. Anyway, I just got a leak around the bend. I'm around the corner? Now. Sounds good, man. Jeez, what a walk. What? That looks strangely familiar. Yes, hello. Oh. Hello, sir. How you going, mate? Very good, thank you. What can I do for you? Um, can I see a menu? Oh, no menu here. Just trim, crookcut or fade. Oh, sorry. Um, my friend said this was a bar. Yes, it yes. Is? Sorry. Oh. Uh, I'm a little bit confused today. That's okay. Yes, it is bar. Uh, Rosanna's, Rosanna's bar. Ooh, she's lovely. Yes, sir. Um, so can I see a drinks menu? Oh, no, but like I said, no menu. Uh, we have a reputation at Rosanna's. Reputation for number one craft beer bar in the Black Forest. Well, in that case, how about you knock me up something special? Okay, sir. First round coming right up. Here you are, sir. Some complimentary salty ones to get you started. Mate, I could have sworn there was way more of a lot here before, so. No, that's all good, man. Apologies. This place is sick. Hey, at least the uh, backdrop ain't too bad. And ain't shabby. It and ain't shabby. And we got preddies. What we came for? The preddies. I mean. Not the beers, mate. We came for the preddies. Oh. Bon appetit. <laughs> That's very good. It's good to be back. It is. Let's get stuck into that first beer. Mm. First up, we have the Wizen Pale Ale. Coming in at 5.9%. She's a little bit weedy, but very tasty. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Jakey boy. Back to Deutschland. Oh, happy to be here. And things are working out very well. I'm going to try not to say hell a lot during this. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that beer? I hell like it, eh? So basically, we bought a bunch of beers from Steam Brewery. 13 long neck cans, to be exact. Yeah. For a whopping price of $14.60 Australian. These beers are conveniently actually from a town 200 kilometers north of where we are free camping right now. We're by a river. This is... Life's good. Living. Uh, the first sip, I thought it tasted like a certain fruit that I couldn't put my finger on, but now I'm getting some kind of like raspberry licorice. See, I think it's a little more orangey. That's what it is. Next up, we have a Session IPA coming at a whopping 4.9%. This sure is the beer to get your Session going. I don't trust you pouring that, mate. Chin chin. The session IPA, here we go. Kind of tastes like Play Doh. 
it's a little bit salty, that's what it mm. is. Yeah. The beer is a little bit salty. It ain't the pretzels. <laughs> it might be a little bit, but I mean, it's good to break up your heavier ones. And we got the Imperial next, so. Yeah. Woo! You know what we should be doing? We should be scoring them. Let's score them. Um, On a scale of one to 10. Well, yeah, that was that would be that would be your go-to scale. I'm trying to think of a different kind of scale. Ten to one. <laughs> the first one, I would, I would give an eight. I would give a seven. The session IPA, I would probably give a six. Five point five. <laughs> And next up, we have the Imperial IPA coming in at a whopping 7.8%. Bon appetit. Salut. I think that's gone straight to the top of the list, eh? God damn it, that's a good beer. So when I saw them in the shop for 60 cents a pop... I didn't believe it. The cans looked really nice, but... Just the price tag makes you suspicious. If you find yourself in a little supermarket, go straight for that gold can. I think we have two more. <laughs> 8.5. I'm just gonna go solid eight. Mm -hmm. For the folk at home who are looking for a light beard or a fresher palette, this is the beer for you. The uh, IPA Rattler, coming in at 3.7%. Pouring it and smelling it, it smells very um, oh it's very fruity yeah, it's very like grapefruit fruity. yeah it's like grapefruit exactly cheers cheers man that tastes like a soft drink that actually oh. tastes like a can of solo you're right it tastes exactly like solo maybe even, even lime yeah, solo there you go that's exactly what i was going to say next oh it's almost a little bit fizzy it's the green can yeah <laughs> Yuck. Ooh la la. Number five on the list is a maroon can entitled German Red. This fella comes in at 7.9%, so you better tighten those belts. Shout out to our Slovakian friends. Nazdravje. Nazdravje. Also, like the Imperial IPA does not taste as strong as it suggests. Mm. Yeah, I don't like red ales at all usually, but mm. I mean, had a couple on this trip, and this one is not bad at all. No, I'm going, yep, yeah, seven. I'm joining you there. I'm joining you there for a seven. Mm. And next up, to, fi to finish the lot, the darkest of the numbers. Which I am very nervous for. Yeah, Jake doesn't normally like stouts, let alone an imperial stout. It's very much, Suiting the colour of the time of the evening. Because it's dark. Imperial Stout. And I do not mind that. I can't believe it. You don't like dark beers. Surprisingly, I, I, I really, I don't like dark beers at all. But it's the first one out of the six I've been like, that's strong beer. Yeah. Because it's a dark beer. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've been like, that's strong and it, the taste is there. It's a little it bit smoky. Good. It, it is, yeah. But not too much. No. Because some perfect. dark beers can be too smoky. That is unreal. That is so nice. Yeah. Give us give us out of 10. I'm going to go a 7.1. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> well, I think the the red ale was a 7. So I had to, it's a, I think it's a little bit better than the red. <laughs> well, yeah, 0. 0.1 better. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a 7.5. Ooh. It's a perfect one to end on, especially on our first night back in Deutschland. Oh, it's good. Tomorrow we're planning on... Gonna go to a campsite, cause we're free camp for the last two nights. And um... Hopefully share a little bit of Black Forest with you. Yeah, And so, on that uh... note, no, we're gonna finish this black beer. Good night. Good night, and we'll see you then. Danke schön. That actually tastes like shit. <laughs> oh my god, I would not have been surprised. <laughs>
get a couple. Yeah, mate. Don't sit down. You gotta, gotta stretch it out. Good stuff, brother. Great job, mate. We can put a tick next to the black forest now. Just returned from a 12 to 13 kilometre hike in the Black Forest, of which there are thousands of hikes, and we only recently found out is where hiking actually originated. Mm. What did you make of the hike we, we chose out of the ridiculous number? Oh, God. Um, I feel like we did very well. Yeah. We picked very wisely. The shadows, the amount of trees just create the most beautiful landscape, so. Yeah, that was, was unreal. All like at the, you, you feel like they're most mm, vibrant yeah. they're gonna be. Hey, you must be feeling quite peckish though. You've got no idea. You've got no idea. The porridge did well, but. Well, lucky for you, Rosanna's dinner service is about to get started. Seven, eight weeks tomorrow. This could buy a lot of hummus, but uh, today we're going to spend it on beers. Show you guys how much beer you can get with 20 euros in Europe. 